Well, howdy everybody, it's your old buddy, Rip One Outdoors. Hey, we're glad y'all would tune in to us. What we have here is the Mooncool MC350. This is the 24 inch version of the MC350. There is a 26 inch version also. Hey, before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you to look down in my description and find that Mooncool link and go check out this bike and check out those prices now. I can tell you right now, based on first impressions, that this is yet another fine quality trike that comes from Mooncool. Now here's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna go and take a test ride on it. We're gonna show the test ride first. We're gonna go, of course, where are we going? We're going to Silk Stocking. We're gonna take it down by the little bridge down by Bowley where I love to film the trikes and bikes that we review. And we're gonna tell you everything we can about it and we're gonna leave it up to you. After we do the test ride, then we're gonna come back here to the workshop and we'll show y'all the assembly process. So without any him hawing around, let's get on down to Silk Stocking and let's see what we can do with the Moon Cool MC350. Roll that intro. Okay, I lied. Before we go out on the road, I'm gonna show you a few things about this trike. Just give you some up closes, okay? There's a display. We're used to seeing this on the Moon Cool trikes. Mechanical brakes, front and rear. 350 watt Sutto. S-U-T-T-O, Suto, Sutto. There you go. Nothing special here. Cadence sensor. Uh, here's the way you that you adjust your seat. I, I mean, I like that. That's that's really robust and strong right there. Key turns it on and off. Okay, the, half, the key has to be in it to turn it on. Here's your charge port right there. 24 inch tires. Got some reflectors on the fenders. Nice heavy duty basket in the back. Got that rascal. Hey, we already planning to haul some things in it. There's some battery information. It is a 36 volt, 14 and a half amp hour, 522 watt hour. Wanted to show y'all the seat and how you get the battery out. Pull that little lever up right there, seat flips up. After you unlock it here, grab it by the handle and you can pull that battery out right there. I like that. It's got a 1428 freewheel back here. I'm gonna tell y'all up front, I haven't experienced any ghost pedaling with this trike. None. The Moon Cool MC350. Hey, let's head on out there to Silk Stocking. All right, all right, everybody. As promised, I bring y'all out on a little test ride of the MC350. Coming up to one of my favorite places to ride, and that's in Silk Stocking in the little town of Picayune, Mississippi. It's a beautiful day here and we're on a good Friday. Yeah, as we stated, we're on the 24 inch version of this trike. The representative was gonna send me the 26 inch version, but uh, I believe it was out of stock in the color that I wanted and all that, but she just asked me if I would do the 24 and I said, sure. But I thought I would just go over a few things with you about some of the particulars about the comfort and all and the power and uh, the ability for it to pull me around. And I'll try to, I'll try to iron it all out and to see if this is something that you guys would want. So far, with my riding it here and down at the house, so I can tell you it's a, it's a very comfortable little trike for me to ride. Now, I think it would be a little bit more comfortable to me if I would have got the 26-inch version, but I didn't. I got the 24. Look how pretty it is, y'all. Ain't it pretty? Trees are turning green, the flowers are blooming. It's really, really beautiful. Let me pull in here at the house. No, that is the, that is the Crosby Mansion right there. That ain't Rip One's mansion. Yeah, the bike feels real good to me, y'all. 
But if 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 I would have got the 26 inch version, I believe it would have been a little more uh, felt a little bit better to me. But I can tell you though, as far as uh, hey, the the ride is good. It's no there's no there is no suspension as far as I know. The only suspension is the air in the tires. But hey, it's done real good on these little streets that I'm riding it down. I'm not even really thinking that you need shocks on this bike. Yeah, I'll get around on one of the straighter streets. I'll do you a pedal assist test and everything. But pedal assist work as they should. It's three levels of pedal assist. And really and truly, you don't need any more because it, it goes up to its top speed of 15 and a half miles per hour. What I'm gonna ask you to do is run, is look at my video description there. And in that description, they got a link to Mooncool. And go check out the sizes and everything that they have and the cost. I'm not gonna put the prices because they have several different models of this bike. And I don't wanna confuse you by throwing prices at you. I'm just gonna tell you to go out to the website and check that out and while you're in the website check out the sizing chart well what the heck let me put that sizing chart right up here for the graphic right up here right now and y'all can be checking that out while we're rolling down this pretty hill right here yeah so as you can see they've got sizing for the 24 and sizing for the 26 trike. Check this out, y'all, ain't this pretty? If you're stuck in the house and you can't get out, then, hey, maybe there's not something you can do about it. But if you're stuck in the house without something to get you around, Maybe you can't walk that far or whatever. Hey, check out these moon cool trikes. I see a lot of elderly people buying these trikes and they're, they're turning out some good results with them and what they're doing for them. Getting their legs moving. Uh, I, I think about this diabetes, you know. This diabetes is a bad thing. I, su I suffer from diabetes myself. Look at this. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful. You can't see this sitting on the couch. Yeah, so let's make our way on across the bridge. We've got a little hill over here we're gonna climb. I'm in pedal assist two. Let's bump it down to pedal assist one. Okay, and I'll go over pedal assist with y'all here shortly. I'm using, it's got the thumb throttle here. I'm using the thumb throttle to, to get started, okay? Or you, it will start just by pedaling it. Pedal assist one. Bump it up to pedal assist two. Give me just a little bit more power on this little steeper hill right here. But check it out, y'all. So far, so good. I mean, I'm just pedaling it normal, not having to overstress myself. Now, let's go back down it and let's check out the brakes because that's a pretty good little hill right there. We'll stop it on the bridge, how about that? I mean, we're going on 12 mile per hour, 14, 15 mile per hour right here. Whoo, we better commence the stopping. Check it out. Mechanical brakes, y'all. Does a good job. What a place to brake. Hey, what a place to show off a good bike. Y'all, this place is called the Hermitage right here. And from what I understand, I don't know, I don't know a whole lot about the history. I probably forgot it, but uh, a man who was who came down with Andrew Jackson in the War of 1812. He passed through Picayune and he liked this place so much that he come back and he built a house here. That, that'd be the hermitage right there. 
kind of secluded. You can't see a whole lot and certainly ain't going to let nobody up in there, I guess. But I guess that's some of his descendants or somebody whoever owns that house there. All right, let's cruise on along now. All right. Yeah, check it out, folks. Ain't this pretty? This is the kind of stuff that you can see when you get out riding on these trikes. Maybe you feel like that you can't ride, you know, a regular bike. I mean, I understand that. Maybe you feel like you keep it because of your mobility or your balance issues that you wouldn't be able to ride a, an e-bike. But I, I can guarantee you that I think you're gonna like this trike, I really do. The reason why I can tell you that, because I like it. I like it myself and I like the other ones that I have. Hey, they're a hoot to ride. They just all kind of fun. Temperature today is 76 degrees. And man, look at that blue sky, huh? Look at this, turn this corner, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. The stability of it is pretty darn awesome, y'all. Pretty darn good. Okay, y'all, we're going to go this way now, down 3rd Avenue here. And we're going to do pedal assist test. So let's just bump it down to 1. If you start in pedal assist 0, then it won't nothing happen because that's your, you'll just have to pedal it with the no pedal assist at all, okay? But we're going to be in one. I'm going to give it a bump with the throttle to help it get going. And then I'm going to pedal it. You're looking at eight miles per hour for pedal assist one. We're going to reach up here on our display. We're going to bump that, that far left button right there. And that's going to take me to pedal assist two. Which is... 10 mile per hour. All right, what y'all think pedal assist three is gonna do? Here we go, pedal assist three. That little 350 watt motor come to life. 15 mile per hour. And no ghost pedaling, y'all. So here we got a, a very comfortable trike. And it's a very pretty trike. It's a pretty trike to look at. The company states that it's about 30 miles. I'm gonna say probably 25, maybe. Riding like I do, pedaling mostly. Yeah, there you go. That's a, that's a good estimate on from what I've rode it and seen. So there you go, guys. We've talked about the comfort. We showed you the sizing chart where you can uh, size yourself up to which which one you want, whether it's the 24 or the 26 inch trike. They also have different battery combinations right there that you can look at. And last but certainly not least, I want to look for just a few minutes about who this trike may be for and who it may not be for. If you have no, no ability whatsoever to assemble something, then this may not be the one that you need. You may want to look at the TK1 folding trike because it has the least amount of assembly that's required. But this one here has probably the most amount of assembly required. Now, if you're a weekend warrior, you like to spend a little time in your shop with your tools, man, I'm just gonna say go for it. This would be a perfect little project for you. And it's very rewarding once you get it done to take a look at it and see what you've got. and. Uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna offer you a lot of pleasure in the riding. Pretty much been on some uneven surfaces here too, and y'all, it's it's doing real good. Just showing y'all how it how it handles on these uh, sidewalks here. I mean, sharp turns. So there you go, folks. Hopefully, we've tried to show y'all. Uh, what the little trike will do. Try to maybe 
uh, clear up a few questions you might have about it. I can tell you that it's a, it's a nice, comfortable, powerful trike. Enough, it's got enough power to pull you around in the neighborhood, take you down the street and go shopping. You've got a big basket back here that'll haul some payload there. And the only thing you need to do is just decide whether you want to assemble this trike or not. If you don't want to assemble this trike, then they have the TK1 folding trike, which would be a perfect match for you. But if, you, if, you, uh, if you're a bit of a weekend warrior and you've got a few small hand tools, that's all you need. They've got an excellent uh, illustrated color assembly manual that will help you through every process of the assembly. So what we'll do now is we'll take you back to the shed and show you the assembly process. And then you can make your decision from there whether you want to uh, purchase this trike or, or, or maybe one of the other models. Okay, y'all. First thing I want to do is give y'all an a overview of everything that come in the box. And this is the condition that it's in. I found everything to be packaged well. Uh, I found no nuts and bolts scattered all over the place. Everything was well packaged and well bundled. Um, I want to start with the front wheel first. That's the front wheel right there. That is a 350 watt hub, brushless hub motor. Suto. And that's what it says on it anyway, Suto. We'll set that down, set it aside. Something else that I didn't want to set aside and I didn't want to unpack right now, this is the rear rack, okay? That's gonna be easy breezy, y'all. We, we get that out, we'll show y'all how to put all that together. To start with, the first thing I see when I look at this trike, I see the Fat 20. Because I put the Fat 20, and it, I put the Fat 20 together and y'all, it was, <clears throat> it was, it was a lot easier than what I imagined it would be. But I think this is, this kind of project for me is a challenge. And I like to take on challenges real quick. Like, first thing I want to do is start with the assembly manual. Now, if this assembly manual is anything like the FAT20, it's going to be a, a pretty decent guide to go by, Okay. I will try to go by the guide the best I can. But let's start over here to the left here. Here's the battery. It's the Moon Cool. It's the Moon Cool 36 volt, 14 and a half amp hour, 522 watt hour battery. Here's the charger. That's a two amp charger. There's the keys. You'll need the keys to lock and unlock the battery. These are the fender brackets right here. That's the pedals, the LED light. Of course, y'all know what that is. I didn't unbundle all that because it's got, it's got magic links and everything else in there. Same way with all these reflectors right here. This is a bag of reflectors. I didn't take that apart. We got some zip ties. These are straps that used to hold the rear rack onto the bike. There's the derailleur, Shimano, a little bag of tools. Here's the handlebar. We'll get into that. I'm not, not going to get into a whole lot of that right now, but we'll get into that when we get it put together. That's some uh, wire management stuff you weave around the wires. Y'all know what that is. That's your brake rotor. Here are our fenders. One front fender, two rear fenders. Here's your main axle, and axle, and uh, it's got your free wheel and all that. Here's everything you need right here. All right, it's got your brake caliper right here. These rear wheels are gonna go on just like the Fat 20. And I know you probably said, well, I didn't see that video, okay? So we're gonna show you how, we're gonna show you how to put all that together. I went ahead and put the seat up here. Here's the rear wheel. Here's another rear wheel. I like the quality of these tires, y'all. They're very nice quality. I did put 40 PSI air in this tires, all three of them. I don't know how many teeth this 
this gear is right here, but I'll try to let y'all know that. Nice paint job on the fenders. Everything looks like the welding's done good. That's basically it, y'all. And what we're going to do then, I wanted to give y'all an overview and just say, hey, here's what it is. Don't be, don't be alarmed. Don't be shocked. What I would recommend, what I would recommend you to do is look at this picture right here. If you feel like you can handle this, hey, you're going to save some money by buying this trike. But if you don't feel like you can do this, then you need to look at the TK-1 trike. You won't have so much that you need to assemble on the TK-1. Hey, if you like to take on projects, especially assembly projects like this, you got your uh, basic set of tools there in your, in your garage, hey, yeah, do like I do, y'all. Hey, consider it like a, a rainy day project. Get out in your garage, put this thing together. Here's what I do recommend. Put this thing up on a table like this because I'm going to show y'all as I go along with this thing how having it up on a table is going to save you so much misery of getting up and down. I can't I can't get up and down off the floor like I used to could, y'all. There you go, y'all. I don't know much, much more that I can show you, but we're going to start taking piece by piece and we're going to start assembling the components of it and we'll get back with y'all on it as we go through it okay okay y'all i've taken and uh, as y'all saw all the stuff on the table i took all that and spread it around different locations to just set it aside till we needed it i've taken a battery charger over here here it is it's plugged it into my power outlet here whenever you plug your charger in the light will turn green for a second and then it will turn red that means it's uh, it's charging okay so we'll allow that to charge while we're assembling the rest of the trike. Okay, y'all, as far as uh, assembly is concerned on this MC350 trike, if you follow along with the color instructions, I found that they've been in-depth and keep you on the right track while you're going through doing the assembly. So I'm just going to do a summary of what I've done so far. And, and I have went in the steps that that they have asked me to. I haven't found any place where I've deviated from that. As far as the, the uh, put the rear axle and attach it to the frame, you got four bolts. You got two here and two on the other side over here. Um, the rear axle goes on the inside of the frame of the bike. And as you can see, the, the locking uh, mushroom heads of the bolts will go on the inside and the nuts on the outside. I found that if you take take a little rubber mallet like this and just tap things and get everything lined up, push it all together, tighten it down. That's, that's basically all it is to do that. As far as the derailleur is concerned, shows, it shows you a, a clear picture on there of how to do it, but they're showing you with doing it with this rear axle upside down. Uh, I found you could probably wait until you get it to this point where you got it on the trike and you got it all mounted together. You put your derailleur on there. Uh, just look for a little shark fin type thing right there. That keeps this thing from turning, you see. That keeps this, this bracket here from spinning around. We'll put all these cables and all on shortly and show you how we did that. Now, as far as the rear wheel is concerned, this would be the, the left wheel. I don't know if they're marked or not. Let me show you what the little device is they got holding it on. This is the red, black, this black piece right here. There's one without the nut. That's just a protector is all. And if, you, if you're, the nut comes with uh, the pla plastic part on it, here's the way to remove that. You just screw it onto your because you can't get it tight enough by twisting this with your hand. So you get it started on there and just pull that off, okay? Then you can put these locking nuts on here. Just got a locking nut and a washer, and that's it. You got a little, pla uh, you got a little aluminum spacer right here on your left side. Then over here, you put your washer on, and you just tighten it down. Once you get it tightened down, you can just tap your little protector on there, okay? On the right side is a little bit different. Let me see if I can show y'all this. 
I don't know if you can see that, but the the way the little the way it's shaped right here, that's gonna fit perfectly over the axle. All we're gonna do is line it up. Press it where the wheel is up on that little hub. We'll just attach the nut and washer as we did the other side. Alright, let's go around and take a look. We got the seat pushed in. I put the handlebar on. There's nothing nothing you need to know about that. I mean, just do it by the uh, by the instruction manual there and you won't have any problem. Loosen this up, loosen this up, put it down in the hole, kind of halfway line it up. You can adjust all that later. Tighten this down, tighten your stem, tighten your handlebar. All these cables and all here, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, let's talk about the front wheel. <clears throat> Haven't put any pedals on yet because I didn't want that to get in the way. The front wheel comes with all these screws right here. Okay, it's got this little plastic protector, I guess that is. I, I, I don't, I don't see where the instruction manual calls to use that, so we didn't use that. We chunked that. So this is the orientation of the brake rotor that they want you this to be on. Okay. Just take these screws out, put your rotor on, tighten your screws back down. Take the nut off, and we're mount, we can mount the front wheel. Let's just go ahead and mount the front wheel while, we're, while you're here watching. Okay, y'all, I'm going to try to give you a close-up on how this front wheel goes in. Uh, I'm doing this up on a table, but you could probably be better off if you're on the floor to put this front wheel on because you can... Uh, have more leverage on pulling up the handlebar and holding the handlebar and all in place and it's, I would highly recommend it be at a two-person job so a husband you could get your wife in there to help you and uh, help you hold it up or whatever or, or vice versa give you a pretty much an idea here you got these anti-rotation lugs in here right there they go between the wheel and the fork same way over here, you got your anti-rotation lug. I guess that's what you call it. I don't know the proper name for it. And you can pretty much see how the orientation of the wire is going to be. The wire is going to kind of point back towards the, the pedals. And then we're going to bring that up here like this. And all that's going to be tied off when we tie this wire together. Okay. Make sure you line the rotor up in the caliper. But the caliper is loose. They left that loose for you. And we'll show you how to tighten all that up here shortly. But we'll go ahead and secure our front wheel. Of course, you got a smooth flat washer here. And we'll do that on both sides. Okay, y'all, I wanted to show y'all one of the main things that you may... If, you're, if you don't have a little bit of bike knowledge, one thing that you may have a little problem with running the chain through the derailleur and I want to show y'all how that goes. I've got the chain pretty much just looped up on the set, uh, seventh gear here and sitting on top of the chain ring down there is I'm going to feed the chain through the derailleur as it sits here. Okay, I'm going to feed it through the derailleur. I'm going to feed it through this little guide bar right here. Okay. Then I'm going to feel it, feed it through here and let it come down through that gear and through this other little guide bar here. Okay, that's the way it's going to look. Okay, then we're ready to pull this. I'm going to pull this back through to the front up here and attach it. Give you a good look of how that looks. Okay, we're going to take our magic links and put the chain together. Here's how I put the little magic links together. It's it's real simple to get you. One comes through from the back and one comes through from the front, and the little tips go through the holes. But you have to let me show you with my hands here. You have to pull it like so. Hook it on here, so it's going to need to pull. It's going to need to pull in that direction. So what I did is I put it on the chain ring and just used my hand here as leverage and then pulled it and it just snapped in place. 
So hopefully it'll be that easy for you. Okay, folks, I'm going to show y'all how I hooked up the shifter cable. Okay, the cable, uh, whenever you get the handlebar, it's going to have just a, a wound up length of cable. And that's your shifter cable. You have to shove it down through the cable uh, housing here. And it comes down. And it's going to attach right in here. It's just going to shove it up through there. Shove your shifter cable through. And then come down through. There it is right there. This little nut. That's a 9 millimeter uh, socket. The best thing to use for that. Take that, back that out a little bit, shove your shifter cable through there, and lock it down. But before you lock it down, pull this cable tight, okay? And you shouldn't have any problem with that. Same way with the, the brake cable here. You can pretty much see how I got that looped in here. A little more, little more cable housing there than what you need, but that's okay. Uh, it works either way. And the cable comes through here. Tighten this down on it right there. And, and uh, yeah, before you pull this cable, before you tighten this little screw down right here, pull this cable tight and get all your slack out of that cable and you should be good. So that's the shiffer cable and the rear brake cable that we've shown you. Okay, y'all, I'm fixing to start putting the final few things on the trike. And that would be the Fender, rear fenders and a rear basket but before we do that I wanted to show y'all just a summary of what we've done okay I've already talked to you about the wheels and everything and putting the, the rear shifter cable showed y'all how to do that uh, the rear brake cable I covered that with y'all and that pretty much covers everything back here now what I would what I would recommend is uh, lift the lift the Lift the axle up, spin the rear tire, see if you got any brake rubbing back here. You can loosen these two screws right here and shift that uh, caliper just one way or the other, just a little tad, and take that out and uh, get that to where that's uh, rolling free. And come back up out of front here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, yeah, on the front brake, we hooked the front brake up. We just kind of looped that cape, the excess cable around like that. I showed y'all how we put the front rotor on. Uh, I'm going to do a little test on this to see if I got any rub in here. If I got any rub in here, I might, I might do a little adjustment there. And that is how the front drive motor connects. Okay, it plugs in. Make sure you plug in. They show, look, they give you plenty of uh, instructions and some stickers and everything here to show you how to plug things in, okay? Align the arrows. That's all you need to know. I got a good zip, heavy duty zip tie here and a heavy duty zip tie there. That's not going to come loose and mess up anything. I'm going to put the wire management on as soon as I take it down off the table. Uh, I put the chain guard on. Okay, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. This is, this is simple turning wrenches stuff here. Uh, if it, if it's something's rubbing here, just simply bend this out the way there so it'll work right. Last but not least, we're going to get into the putting the rear basket on. We'll show y'all after we get that done and putting the rear fenders on, and then we'll uh, get it down off the table. Okay, y'all, there it is. That's the Mooncool MC350. Hey, I told y'all I would show you. Um, after we got it down off the table, well, I've already shown you that after, before we went to silk stocking. But everything's assembled. Everything assembled just perfect on it. Uh, up in here, let me show you a few things. We did put some wire wrap. They sent the, they sent the wire wrap, so we put that. I uh, probably could have done a little bit better job, but, I mean, hey, it looks better than some I've seen, okay? But we've shown already went over all the specs and features of it. 350 pound payload, um, top speed 15 and a half mile per hour. We've already got it up to 16. Um, hey, it's like this. Do you think this is a trike that you would want to assemble and save you a few dollars? That's the question. So if you don't want to assemble it, 
as I may have stated already, hey, I highly recommend you go back to the website and check out that TK1 folding trike. Pay a little more for it, but the level of completion is much higher than the level of completion on this one. But you can save some money with this one. I'm going to throw this out there to any local folks that see this trike, see my video, Facebook or what have you. Hey, if you want to purchase this trike, email me and I can give you a price on the assembly. Yeah, I get out here, uh, I get out here on my lunch break and assemble this trike for you. And there you go. You'll have a nice trike. I'll give you a good fair price on it. It works for both of us. So I guess all there is to do now is to, again, I'll ask you to go check out that link down in my description. And if you decide you want to purchase this bike or any of the other bikes or trikes that are listed on that website, hey, if you purchase them from my link, my channel will get credit for it at no extra cost to you. We're going to put our email down here at the lower left corner of your screen. And y'all send me an email if you got any questions, you got any comments, you want me to give you a price on the assembly process. Of course, I am in the local to Picayune, Mississippi area. After that, I would ask you as always, if you find some value in this video and you'd like to see more like it, hey, I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that bell notification. And until we see y'all out there on the road somewhere or we see you back here in the work workshop putting together another bike or trike for you, hey, we hope y'all be blessed.